okay three minute game in these sessions looking at uh, the logical logical thinking creative thinking and the it's fine syndrome and just really trying to gel them uh, i've been having some really interesting games based on those those are the areas of weakness that as you know i've been trying to develop um, because that's come out of my own evaluation of my games it's um, those three key areas at the minute so it's not been too bad i'm gonna push here and we can't take now because of x y and z so I'll go here and it's really just if there's an advantage just keeping that advantage and not really letting it go so he has one two he's only got one on there so let's go with a castle and trying to oh he's going for an exchange isn't he but that's that's where the problem lies isn't it because if we go here his rook can't well his pawn can move but then he's going to lose his queen so i'm actually going to do that okay so he's got two on there now the bishop bishop I'm going to ta take that and now they've realized that they can't take back because the rook would be on but now he does have a back rank checkmate threat situation so i'm going to oh and his bishop can take yeah okay let's go so the back rank issue is out of the way now does his bishop still want to take the bishop now it's bringing more pieces into the frame it's got a diagonal onto this pawn here but now our bishop can freely take the bishop because our rook is on his queen so his queen is going to take back don't feel too bad about our position is there any other magic let's take it before their bishop causes me damage queen has to take really because our rook is on his queen i can expect that and then i suppose in a way if his queen takes we can take the knight with a check on his king so he may go with the rook because his rook is actually still on our queen so if we take his queen then he takes ours hmm interesting all right so we don't have to do any of that by the way we can just come here and attack his queen his queen can jump all over the place or we could just take his rook with the queen but then his queen takes our queen okay let's just um time is running out i've wasted a lot of time there and bring the rook back attacking here the knight and the rook so it's two pieces under attack so i think he will go for that yeah, he's moved his knight out of the way so that probably gives us a bit of space uh, yeah okay block off their king for now obviously this is a drawn drawn thing it's just now it's going to be a time scramble he's ahead on time 30 seconds so uh, we're going to have to try and use a bit of bullet skills of some sort Well, what bullet skills that we've got <laughs> don't over egg anything just nice and steady away let, let the opponent overextend. they're going to want to try and get some sort of checkmate type thing i'm not going for any checkmate just making moves get nice position because it's a time scramble thing now so he's attacking our rook hmm coming for the pawn here so he's coming for devastation i'm hoping that loses them tempo in terms of delivering anything meaty per se so he can take all my pawns off but is his position going to be worthwhile in the end okay so let's just uh bring the king here nice and steady we're down on time still though so we need to get them we need to move quicker we've got them thinking we've got them thinking so 10 he's got to attack our knight with his rook i think so he's under us now time wise so i'm going for major overthinking is he going to bring the rook here to attack something pawn sorry so all we have to do is just move fast and oh we've lot we've won abandonment well, that's a quick abandonment for a blitz game 
Okay, cheers.